How's it going everybody, my name is Belitus and welcome to episode 14 of my Minecraft Beta 1.5 Let's Play. So today I am starting off in the first ever house in the subscriber village which I created right here. I think it looks nice and I've also created the base of three more. So I have decided on what I am going to do for the subscriber village. This actually was a recommendation from Computer Zombie 15 so thank you computer zombie 15 of course but right now what we are going to do is every single person who gives me an idea or something like that for the series will get a house or at least people who give me ideas that I implement into the world so the first house oh, I do not have a sign this first house will be going to computer zombie because of that wonderful recommendation where do I put it Oh, won't fit. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> I could have just gotten rid of the 15, but I feel like the 15 is, is important. That's an important part of the name. In this episode, we will be continuing on on the village. I have decided that over here is either going to be like a wee botanical gardens area, or maybe it will be a market sort of place. Also, I've expanded this place all the way over here all of this hill actually came out to around here but I decided that I would curve it around and give us a little bit more space and we can always I don't know push over that way or maybe even up the hill a bit once we need to so hopefully this here is enough space for the start of the village at the very least the people who have already contributed their ideas to this series so yeah I think that's exciting so before I start building the town I got to look through all of these chests and get all of the stuff that I need to build it the only issue is I seem to misplace a lot of things sometimes and I'm also not completely sure if I've got any resources <laughs> does not look like it oh I could use those slabs and those fences also I keep on forgetting about this place right here all of this stuff that I've been wanting to do I think that technically I've finished the nether hub now that I think about it. And the mob grinder. I've actually finished the mob grinder. So I'll get rid of this. I'm pretty sure that I've got uh, that I've done this. So I'm going to get rid of this. So maybe we'll do one of those in this episode. If not, then sometime in the future. Maybe next episode I will focus on doing one or two of those things. Because I keep on forgetting. There's plenty of trees around here. So I'll start collecting wood. And then after that we'll start building a few more of those houses. And I'll have a look and figure figure out who gave all of the recommendations that I've done in the past so I'll have to do a little bit of research <laughs> into the law of Belitus so we'll just we'll just do this yeah wood it's getting dark but we'll ignore that for the second Okay, now it's properly getting dark. I'll collect wood from that tree, and then I'll go down into the hole. Friend? Friend! No more friend. Here goes my axe. I'll just get this stuff and then I think that's enough wood. Here we go. Look at that. Two stacks plus 20. So now that I've gotten a bunch of wood, I think that I should start building these three houses and then maybe build a few more depending on how I feel. So I think that the first house, I'm going to sort of explain sort of my step-by-step -step process and then the other two I'll either do... Oh shit, it's turning dark. Then the other two I'll either just have a quick time lapse or... I'll just do it off camera. Whatever I feel is the best at that time. <laughs> but I gotta sleep first. 
Wonderful. But yeah, I thought that I would um, explain the process because I thought maybe some people are interested in the process. Probably not, but you know, might help out someone. So first of all, I'm adding in the supports. Well, actually no. First of all, I made the base out of cobblestone. And I'm adding in these supports that would hold up the roof and it just adds some extra dimension to the building. Then you can add in, if this pig gets out of the way, that works. <laughs> you add in the glass, which of course is our wonderful windows. So now we will add in the beautiful wood, like so. And now that's our walls done, so we will do the ground. You know, just normal Minecraft building. <laughs> but I think that the main thing is you've got to add in some dimension into it, otherwise it just looks like a block. And I guess that sort of works for the game, but also at the same time, it's boring. You want something a bit nicer than a block. So now I've got some stairs, which will be, of course, for the roof. Actually, first I will add a roof shape, just because this makes it a bit easier to build the rest of the roof. Like so. Now we can start building the roof. And it always uses up far more staircases than it seems, because that was the, I don't know how much, it was about 40 I think. That should do, at least for this one building. And now we add some slabs onto the top, like so. And then to make it seem a bit more interesting, I'm going to just add in this wee slope. <laughs> just gives it a slightly nicer shape. That there, once you add a door, that there is a home. But now what I like to do, this feels a bit boring right at the front, so we add some, ah, oh, forgotten beta. You can't put staircases on staircases, so then you have to put down a block, and then you put down the staircase. And then add some slabs, and there we have it. That there is a basically livable house. Except... I like to add those blocks just to make it so that the shape inside is a bit nicer. And then of course you gotta add in the lighting. Now! It's a fully functional house. I hope that was interesting. I don't think it was, but <laughs> it's, it's content. I'm making content. So I was over here at my base making an axe, but then I remembered there is something very important that I need to tell you all about, and that is how much my dogs love cobblestone. Like, like, why wouldn't they? You know? And look at how happy they look. Why won't they get up? I was hoping that they would get up. They just don't care about me, apparently. But you know what they do care about? They care about the cobblestone, and that's all that matters. They also are a big fan of gunpowder, so I'll give them those that gunpowder, and hopefully they don't use that to blow me up or something, and it's dark, so I'm going to go to sleep, and then I'm going to build those houses. And now what you've all been waiting for, another goddamn time lapse.
now for the final touches. One, two, three, and there we have it. Two more houses. <laughs> and we almost had enough wood. I had to chop down one tree over here, which of course I replanted. But yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. This is the American dream. This is the American dream. A bunch of houses that look exactly the same. Yeehaw. I, I shouldn't be making fun of Americans. They make up a massive amount of my subscribers, so I probably shouldn't make fun of them. But to be fair, it's funny. <laughs> I've also got to show off the view from up here. I'm up on this hill, well, and also on this tree, and it's coming together. It's looking beautiful. And this is the view from right across the sea and in the tallest part of the wonderful castle. And I think it looks great. So now that we've built a few houses, I want to show you a wee project that I've started, which is sort of this idea that I had that was built on to one of the projects that someone told me that I should try out or that I should do, which this person said that I should do like this big glass dome and on the inside is a wheat farm. So I thought, how about I do that, but I will make it so that there's a bunch of glass domes and each glass dome has a separate plant sort of grown how they would grow in the wild. Of course, except for wheat because wheat doesn't grow in the wild. So I'll go over to where I'm building it to just show you and explain it a bit more. So this is where I'm building it. So right next to the castle and right across the ocean from over there. Oh, shit. So as you can see, there are these eight circles, all of which are attached by these wee tunnels, and I will be building them up probably about five blocks, maybe a little bit more, and then I'll be attaching a dome on top, and basically you'll be walking underneath them, then you'll be going up either a staircase or some ladders into the dome. There's eight of them, which I'm pretty sure that there are eight plants in this version. There might be a few more. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure there's eight. But if it turns out that there is more than eight, I can always branch off and add more and more of them. These are inspired by those dome things that NASA built out in a desert as sort of an idea for what they could do on other planets. And I thought that it would look quite cool to do that on here. But one big issue with this whole thing is how much resources it's going to take because even just laying out all of this stuff, this was probably about an entire chest's worth of cobblestone. But I'm also wanting to make it out of stone because I've already got a massive cobblestone thing over there so I want something a little bit different from cobblestone so I thought that I'll make it out of stone and then also all of the glass <laughs> will need a lot more smelting as well so for that to be able to complete this whole thing I want to start a brand new mine because no matter how wonderful the hole is over that way I think that creating a brand new mine and like a proper mine will be far better than just a hole in the ground and also I'll have to start a quarry over in the desert over that way which I sort of already have started but not really so once I go to sleep I'll show you I started off a little mine or actually it's not little but I started off a little bit on a massive mine and I'll explain to you what I'm wanting to do there so I'll go over there now. So this is the start of the mine. So I built this tiny little house, which you can <laughs> barely even live in, but it's mainly for storage and we've got a crafting table and of course we've got a bed, which is all we need. And I think that it looks quite nice. I decided to make it out of cobblestone instead of wood, just because we've built so many houses out of wood that we may as well do something a little bit different. And over here we've got this platform, which right over here, goes directly into these mine shafts which I will be building these supports every three blocks as you can see and yeah we'll also be adding in some mine carts um, one on each side and I think that will look great or at least I'm hoping it will look great the main issue with this space is that it is a bit out of the way because you can't really see anything else that I've built over this way even though just over that hill uh, just over that hill is the subscriber village and just over that hill is the sort of main town area and everything else in the world but I quite liked the hilliness 
this. I think that really fit into the mining town aesthetic. And I will be building around here and making this into like a big town, or at least a reasonably big town. And I'll be filling in all of this to make it nice and flat. And I'll be adding in some mining cottages and like a wee tavern sort of thing. Something like mining towns in real life. And if this idea of this sort of platform with minecarts. I got the idea from a mining town here in New Zealand called, I think it's called Deniston, and I haven't actually been there yet, but from the photos it's just an amazing looking place, and it's got like this sort of aesthetic. It's got minecarts that go straight down, even though it goes straight down a hill by the looks of it, not straight down into a mineshaft, but you know. I can make things a little bit different from real life. I'm only taking a little bit of inspiration so yeah, that's where I'm at. So as well as building the plant pods and mining in the mine and starting the quarry, I've also got to start making rails over to all of them. Uh, <laughs> so there's a lot that I need to do just to build the bloody plant pods, but I think that the quarry and also the mines, they'll be useful for other things later on in the future. But for the mine, this tunnel here goes straight through and to the other side, and I'll just branch off from like here and branch, uh, go through, go through the tunnel and into the other side and that will be nice and easy. And for the plant pods I'll just continue on the rail all the way from the train station over there and I'll just continue that over to where the plant pods are. And for the quarry I will start a new track from the beautiful train station over there and that will go all the way over there. But I think that I will do that next episode because I think this is about the end of the episode so I hope that you all enjoyed today's video. Video. I don't think that it was the most productive video, or the most productive episode, but we've started quite a few projects and we've started this big project, the big thing, which is the subscriber village, but I think that the other three projects, plus also the rails, that's going to be quite fun, or at least I hope it's going to be quite fun. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, even if you didn't like the video, please, please just like it anyways and please just subscribe it will help me out and if if you decide that you don't want to be subscribed to me for any reason in the future you can always unsubscribe at a later date but yeah thank you for watching see you later